Is your baby congested and having a hard time breathing? Or just want to know what works when that happens? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to help a congested baby breathe, plus a holistic bonus tip that works. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to Parent Pacifier. On this channel, we help new and soon to be parents with product reviews, parenting stories, and tip videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so that you never miss a video. Over the last two weeks, our son has been congested and just having a hard time breathing, whether he's awake or sleeping. So we've had to figure out how best to help him and so we thought it was the perfect time to share the tips that we've learned with you. Now, before we get into those tips, I have a question for you. What concerns you the most about taking care of a congested or sick baby? Put your answers in the comments below. Now, it could be really hard at three in the morning when your baby wakes up with a really stuffy nose or severe congestion, and you just don't know what to do, right? You're sitting there and you're like, I need to wake up for work in the morning. I'm exhausted, baby, please go back to sleep. You try to put them down. They wake up yelling and screaming, trying to breathe, and they can't breathe. And it just keeps going in the cycle and you don't know how to stop it. It feels like the night's never gonna end. Well, here are the 10 tips that I have for you in that moment and also to prepare for so that when that moment does come, you'll be ready. Tip number one, call your pediatrician. I mean, that's always the first step with everything with a newborn, right? But in that moment, even if it's really late at night, most pediatricians have a late night number that you could call and get in touch with somebody and get a call back from a nurse or from your pediatrician, even if it's really late. And it's always good to get their advice in that moment besides just taking something off the internet because you wanna know exactly what to do with your baby in your situation. And they will best recommend the things that you could do. And also, you might just need to schedule an appointment for that morning. So you just wanna get that taken care of. Tip number two, saline drops or spray. This will help break up the congestion in their nose. There's really no medicine in it. It's just salt water and it's safe to use with a newborn. Of course, you wanna first ask your pediatrician on what to use, how much to use, and even in your particular situation, if your baby should have this. It is a great, quick way to help alleviate some congestion in your baby's nose. Now, you could just spray this right into the baby's nose and leave it in there as it breaks up the congestion. Or, tip number three, use suction. Now, suction could come in the form of first, a syringe bulb. This is a bulb that could come in a care kit or you could buy this straight up. We got this off Amazon. This bulb, particular bulb, comes apart so that you could clean the inside of it. This is important because a lot of bulbs, bulbs like this one that don't come apart, they could actually collect mold on the inside because it's always wet, it's dark. This is where bacteria likes to grow, right? So if you have a syringe like this that doesn't open up, you may only wanna use this for a month or so or make sure that you're cleaning it really well out with hot water and not spraying the air back into the baby's nose because that could actually be more harmful to the baby than good. Or if you have one that's like this that opens up, you want to clean this out pretty often, especially if you're sucking out a congested baby because you don't want the sickness and germs to remain inside this bulb. But all you do is once you've sprayed your saline, press the suction on the bulb, stick it to the baby's nose and suck out. It will suck out a lot of the congestion and a lot of the mucus. This may not suck out enough though because it might not have that complete seal around the baby's nostril. So we also recommend the nose Frida. Now, this is probably one of the grossest things that uh, new parents nowadays have is these nose Fridas, right? Amanda and I actually didn't want to use this nose Frida for about three months because we just thought it was gross. I mean, you're literally putting your mouth here and sucking the snot out of your baby's nose. Now, that sounded gross for so long until I did some research and watched a video that on here there is a little filter that goes right here. And that filter prevents any mucus from ever touching your mouth. Now, once you've sucked the baby out, if anything gets on this filter, you could just replace this filter. Nose Frida sells the filters in a box and you get a whole bunch. This sucks out the mucus very well if you could get past the gross part about the Nose Frida. Now, we've put this in the links in the description below along with everything else that we mentioned in this video. So you can go check those out throughout the video at any point. Tip number four, the hot shower. If you go into your bathroom with your baby, turn the shower on really hot and just stand outside the shower, letting the steam break up the congestion in your baby's nose. This will warm them up 
it will break up the congestion so that they could breathe. The other day I had my son and he was crying because he could not breathe well over an hour. Nothing was helping him. So I went into the bathroom, turned on the shower and let the steam hit his face. And he fell asleep in under a minute, right in my arms, knocked out and was breathing perfectly. Tip number five, a humidifier. We use the Vicks Cool Humidifier because our apartment's already pretty warm, so we don't want to heat it up more with a hot humidifier. So we put on the cool humidifier anytime the baby is sleeping. We just place it in the room and let the humidifier fill up the room. Now, one important thing to note, though, is that the humidifier can easily build up mold within it. So you want to read the directions of your particular humidifier on how to clean it often so that mold doesn't collect and it shoots mold into the room that your baby is now breathing in, potentially making them worse. Tip number six, an air purifier. Now this is important to use because you want to get all the germs and all the dust out of the air. And we use the Germ Guardian, but there are so many different purifiers out there that you can get. So just look up what's the best for your situation. They could range from 90 bucks all the way up to 200. So what's best for your budget, what's best for the size of your room, wherever it is that you have your baby, you wanna make sure that that purifier works for that space. Now air purifiers are especially good because you wanna clean out all of that dust and germs that have been just floating around in the air, especially if your baby's coughing a lot, if you happen to be sick, you wanna be able to get all of that cleared out of the air so that the baby can get better quicker. And an air purifier might be a good alternative white noise sound to a fan, which is just gonna blow around the germs in the room where the air purifier is taking those germs out. Tip number seven, keep your baby sitting upright and elevated while they're sleeping. When your baby is laying down, it just, the congestion just backs up. But if you sit your baby up while they're awake, try to keep them up in your lap, seated in a, in a bouncer or, or anywhere that you could keep them sitting up. It will help drain the mucus instead of remaining there when they lay down. And when they do lay down, you wanna elevate them. We've used a sleeper that's in our pack and play that kept him elevated for a while. Now we're putting blankets underneath the pad in his bassinet and in his pack and play to keep him lifted. So if you find a way to elevate, if your baby's in a crib in their mattress, find a way to elevate that part of the mattress so that they are a little elevated so that their congestion can drain instead of just being stuck in that spot. And then they're ultimately gonna wake up every few minutes just because of that congestion. So to alleviate that for them to be able to sleep longer and thus you be able to sleep longer, that is something that you want to do. You could also check out a video that we have on 10 tips on how to get more sleep up in the YouTube card above. Tip number eight, Baby Vicks. Vicks makes a special Baby Vicks formula that you could put on your baby. Now always ask your pediatrician before using something like Baby Vicks. Take some in your hand and put it on their chest. Make sure that it's covered so that they can't touch it and put it in their mouth. Also, you could put it on their feet and make sure that they have socks on and or that they have a onesie with feet covering it. Tip number nine, make sure your baby is well fed and hydrated. The congestion might prevent them from eating. They might not want to eat. They might not want to nurse because the congestion's just bothering them so much. Or they may eat, but right after they eat, they throw it all up. And the last thing we want is a dehydrated baby on top of being congested. So we suggest that you go through steps two, three, and four, then feeding them. Now that might be a lot if they're feeding every hour, two hours, three hours, but it's important. It'll help them get hydrated and get that food in so that they can have the energy to continue throughout the day. And tip number 10, your pediatrician may prescribe a nebulizer. Now I wouldn't recommend getting a nebulizer outside of getting a prescription from your pediatrician, but you may get one. We've had to use a nebulizer over the last two weeks. Uh, it's you know not been fun. He hasn't loved using a nebulizer, but it's helped so much. We've used the nebulizer and then we've gone in the shower to get that steam in his nose and it's a lot of steps. I mean, it's exhausting and tiring, but you know you'll do anything for your baby so that they'll be able to breathe and then you could lay them down and you could get sleep, your baby gets sleep and it's gonna take some time, but they will get better. Bonus tip, a holistic natural remedy that our friend told us about, onions. Yes, onions. Now, it sounds a little strange, right? We thought it was a little strange too, but it totally works. If you don't have any of the things that we've listed in tips one through 10, 
but you do have an onion in your fridge, take that onion, cut it open, throw it in a bowl, and put it in your baby's room and watch that congestion start to break up. Now, it might not be perfect, right? But it's something. And at three in the morning, when you're tired and exhausted and just need something to work, go for an onion and it might just do the trick. Now, if there's any other tips that you have in order to help a congested baby, put that in the comments below. If you're interested in another video from Parent Pacifier, why don't you try one of these? Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.